Hey, quit trying to sound so professional. I'll tell you why next on this week's Dewey's Directive. Bill Deweese here from voiceoverrevolution.com, and I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out this video and for watching YouTube's most viewed and most subscribed to voiceover channel, by far. Just saying. Hey, thanks for checking it out, and thanks for sharing it with your friends. A quick reminder, uh, in case you don't know this, my very last Fast Track of 2014, my last Fast Track class is coming up in October. Then I'll be taking some time off for the holiday season. So if you want to get in uh, on one of my Fast Track classes before 2015, this is your last opportunity, and it will be I'll be teaching it the last four Thursday nights of October. So that's coming up in just a few weeks. If you want more information, drop me an email at voiceoverexpert at gmail.com. So my advice for you this week is quit trying to sound so professional. Oftentimes, the thing that we should do to accomplish whatever it is we're trying to accomplish is actually, is actually counterintuitive to what our human nature wants us to do. Let me explain. When you are working to become a voiceover talent, especially when you're first you know, entering into that space and, and beginning to, to audition or work with scripts, whatever the case may be, your natural human instinct is to want to sound good. It's human nature, professional voice talent. You want to sound good. So what happens is we get a script and we begin to try, we begin to focus on how we sound when we read that script. And the, the end result is that we try to manipulate the words and the sentences and how they sound. And what we get as an end result is a very sterile read, something that may sound slick and professional, but is not compelling, meaning people don't necessarily, they're not compelled to listen to what we have to say. So what I want to encourage you to do is to begin focusing on the content. I want you to think about explaining the content. Explain the script to me. Tell the story to me or whoever your audience is. Quit focusing on what you sound like and think about how to explain the story to somebody. Because really, in the final, final analysis, we're all storytellers as voiceover talent, whether we're reading a commercial or a narration or a script for an on-hold telephone script. It's, it's all storytelling. We're all communicating something to, to a listener. But the moment we begin focusing on the sound of our own voice is the moment we are dead in the water. We're no longer connecting. And trust me, if you want to win more auditions, this is something that you have to be very, very aware of. So I've explained it. Let me demonstrate it for you. I've pulled up a very short script here. It's just like it's one, one long sentence, two sentences rather, um, for a commercial called Quit Plan. And what I'm going to do right now is just read it for you. It, sounding professional, listening to the, to the sound of my voice uh, to make sure that I, that, that I do this as smoothly and as professionally as possible. The new Quit Plan services. No judgments, just help. With free nicotine gum, email support, phone coaching, and more, the only thing you won't get is lectures. Call or visit Quick Plan. Call or visit quickplan.com. Okay. There, minus the one mistake in it. That was very professional. It was very smooth. Very few people would say, well, no, that was bad. No, it was, you know, it was fine. It, it was smooth. However, that's not what we're looking for. We don't want to sound good. We want to be compelling. When we speak, we want people to feel compelled to lean in, to listen to what we have to say. And the way we do that is to explain the story, to tell the story. Here's an example. The new Quit Plan services. No judgments, just help. With free nicotine gum, email support, phone coaching, and more, the only thing you won't get is lectures. Call or visit quickplan.com. So again, the difference that time, I wasn't focusing on how I sounded. I was trying to make sure that you understood that I was communicating the content, that I was explaining so that it would make sense to you. The differences may sound subtle, but it's those subtleties that make all the difference when you're auditioning for voiceover work. Hey, again, thanks for checking out the video. And remember this week, quit trying to sound so professional. Just explain it to me. Tell the story and watch you begin to win more auditions. Again, thanks. And I look forward to talking to you again real soon.